Hi, my name is Laura Myron, and we're here today with Jimra to do a yoga sculpt routine. So yoga with three fives or eight pound weights to focus on core. So we're still gonna be doing all of our good yoga poses, um, but just really engaging and focusing on core work as we do it. So start on your back, lay it down. <clears throat> okay, lift your knees up over your hips, stretch your arms out over your ears, and then just give yourself a big hug in towards your chest. Mm. If this is the first hug you've gotten all day, make sure you change that and go hug somebody. <laughs> okay, now reach your arms straight up over your shoulders. Take your knees towards your armpits. Now try and keep your heels together. Now I know this is a very sexy position and you feel very attractive here. <laughs> We're going somewhere with this, okay? So lift your hips up as much as you can. Now, stretch your arms and legs straight, but don't let your shoulders touch the ground. Don't let your shoulders touch the ground. Okay, take your knees towards your armpits. Here we go. Inhale out long, shoulders up. Exhale, shoulders lift up higher. Inhale out long. Exhale, lift your butt up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good. Inhale, stay with me, exhale. Inhale, press your low back into the ground, exhale. Inhale, press your belly button down, exhale. Lift your butt up, four. Inhale, exhale, you got two more. Inhale, exhale, last one. Inhale, hold, and lower all the way down. Okay, now hug your knees in towards your chest again. Remember, your job is to go hug someone if it's the first hug you've gotten all day. <laughs> Rock yourself up to a seat, forward and back, forward and back. Boat pose, don't let your feet touch the ground. Stretch your arms out long. Now here we go, inhale, hover down. So you've already been here before. Now knees to armpits, in. Inhale down, exhale up. So make it a little more challenging. Inhale down, exhale up. I know we're going right into it today, eight. Seven, knees in, feet together. Four, this is so fun. <laughs> Keep telling yourself, this is so fun. <laughs> One more time, the more you tell yourself, the more you believe it. All the way down and rest it down. Okay, now go ahead and grab those weights. Let's make this a little more fun. Reach your arms straight up. Lift your knees up, bring your knees towards your triceps. Now, this time, when you stretch the legs out, you're just gonna bend your elbows, and then squeeze your knees in. Bend your elbows, squeeze your knees in. Bend your elbows, squeeze your knees. Bend your elbows, squeeze your knees. So now you're working the backs of your arms, and of course, the abs. If this is too much, just do the legs and keep your arms still. Five, four, your neck is happy, so your neck is working, but it's not strained. Two, one, and done. Oh, okay, knees in, rock forward and back. Now this one's a little harder. You gotta use your abs, really use your abs with the weights in front of your chest to come all the way up to boat. Reach your arms out, hold. Okay, you're working here, I know you're working. Breathe. If it's too much, you can always just put your feet on the ground. Hold here. Here we go, inhale, hover down, weights to chest. Exhale, squeeze your knees in. Inhale, hover down. Exhale, squeeze your knees in. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. It's like you're punching those weights straight forward. Four, three, I know, I'm with you. Two, one, lay all the way back down. <laughs> all right, one more here. Weights in front of your chest, elbows out wide, okay? Now, lift your knees up over your hips. Lift your head, chest, and shoulders. Now, knees aren't over your belly button, knees are right over your hips. Take your right elbow to the ground, and left elbow to the ground. And right, and left. Keep your shoulders up, and left, and 
right and left. Now keep your legs still. If you want to make this a little more interesting, you straighten your legs. Nine, I know we're in this together. <laughs> Just remember the harder we work and the more effort you put in, the better it'll feel when you're done. The harder we work, the more awesome you'll feel on the other side. And done. Oh, so good. All right. Put your weights right at the front of your mat and just flip it right on over. Okay, up and back for downward, your first downward facing dog. Have those weights handy. Stretch your legs up and back. Okay, I know we're so excited to start our planking. You know I love plank. <laughs> okay, right knee to left elbow twist and left knee to right elbow twist. Now let's make this a little more fun. Right knee to left elbow and straighten the leg. And then switch. Left knee to right elbow and straighten the leg. Now take it across, across. I call these spiders and I don't really know why I call them spiders. <laughs> Four, three, really twist your hips center child's pose rest hips back hands forward okay let's do this we got you know we got to start those standing poses so up to down dog now lift your right leg up and just go ahead and lift your hip open your hip bend your knee so your hip flexors which are right here work pretty hard when we do ab stuff. So right now I want you to think about lifting your knee up, open your hip, get a stretch to your hip and your hip flexor because those guys work really hard. Okay, then straighten your right leg. Take your right knee to your left elbow, straighten the leg. You've been here before, lift your left arm up. Okay, this is called fallen triangle. Now your hips are gonna go down, Lift up and down, lift up. Work those obliques. Down, lift up and down, lift up. Down, three, down, two. Hold, put your hand back down. Get up on those left toes. Down dog splits all the way up. Gotta work that core, gotta work those obliques. Step your right foot all the way through. Bring your weights to your shoulders. Okay. Now, we're going to work a little twisting action, which is really good for those obliques. So stretch your arms straight up for your crescent lunge. Now, as you bend your elbows for your shoulder press, you're going to twist to your right. Uh-huh, all the way back up. Here we go. To the right and up. To the right. Oh my goodness. You really are working your obliques. Pull your navel in. So focus here. The more you focus on what you're doing, I promise you're going to get so much more out of it. Three, two, and hold. Bend your elbows, hinge, stretch your arms straight back. Come all the way back up, pull your navel in. Keep your navel lifting away from your front right thigh. All the way up. Three, and back, and two, and back, and one, and back. Hold it up. Warrior two. Now this is gonna be a fancy warrior two because you're just gonna bring your weights right to your shoulders, okay? Make sure your hair, make sure you're not eating your hair for lunch today. <laughs> bring your right knee right over your ankle. Pull your belly button in. Right, so what tends to happen in warrior two is kind of this, like, oh, here's what I had for lunch, right? Navel lifts. Now your right elbow, bring it towards your right knee. All the way up. Aha, uh -huh, this one's kind of fun down and twist. It's actually not a twist. You're working your left oblique. And eight, seven, squeeze your left side. Squeeze your right and left side, right? So here's your left side working, here's your right side working. Three, two, you're amazing. One, hold it out for warrior two. Work those arms, work those arms, three and two. Lower your weights down. Step to plank. Now let's hit that forearm plank. One elbow at a time, come on down. Shoulders over elbows. 
don't worry, I didn't forget about the other side. <laughs> now, if you need to come onto your knees, my challenge for you is to take one more deep breath and then come to your knees. Pull your frontal hip points, these guys right here, up towards your ribs. Keep the back of your neck long, breathe. Now think happy thoughts. <laughs> happy, happy thoughts. <laughs> Keep your right hand down. Try not to lower your knees to the ground. Lift your left arm up, side plank. Stay here, three, two, rock stars. Both elbows down, sphinx pose. Shoulders, elbow, or elbows hold here. Okay, so your core wraps around your back, so we're gonna give me a quick little back exercise here before you do your second side. So weights by your side. Press your pubic bone down. Pull your belly button in. Lift your legs, lift your chest, lift your arms. Hold up. Now lower. Down, squeeze up. So remember your core wraps around the whole back of the body. So you're strengthening your lower back here. Muscles that wrap down your back. Erector spinae. Three, two, gotta balance it out. Keep the front and back strong. Hold, lower down. Okay, weights forward. Hands by your lower ribs. Down dog, up and back. All right, who remembers that whole thing? So we gotta do it on the second side. <laughs> Just kidding, left leg up. Okay, left knee to right elbow twist. Now this time, bring the leg out straight. Lift your right arm up. This is called fallen triangle. Now we're gonna work those obliques. So, lower down, lift up. Lower down, lift up. Press down through your feet. Now, so don't dump all the weight into your hands. Press down through your feet. Straighten out your legs, work your obliques. Pull your navel in, four. Navel in, three. Really focus on pulling the belly button up and hold. Keep your foot where it is, hands down. Now work your oblique to go all the way up to down dog splits. Aha, step the left foot forward. You guys rock. Weight to shoulders, hold here. And if you have the wind blowing, it's like an extra challenge for your balance. Reach your arms up. Now when you do, do that shoulder press, twist to your left, push back up. Twist left and up and left and up. Now the whole time, what are you doing? You're pulling your belly button in towards your spine. You're lifting up through your abs and you're focusing on that. That's what's important right now. That's what you're working right now. Three, two, hold it up. Weights to your ribs, hinge and extend. Come all the way back up. Now the whole time, pull your belly button up away from your front thigh and up, four, and up. Keep pulling your belly button in. You're gonna get a bonus workout through that left thigh. One more to go. Now, warrior two, weights to the shoulders, elbows out wide. Slide your feet further apart. Bend your left knee right over your ankle. Now, bend on the left side. Work your right obliques. So you're working right, and left, and right, and left, and right, and left. Nice deep breaths, keep bending that front knee. Scoop your left bum underneath you. So remember, you're getting that bonus workout through the legs. Five, up, four, stay focused on working those obliques, don't zone out on me. You're gonna get a much better workout if you stay focused with me. One more. All the way up to warrior two, reach those arms out for three, for two. Okay, lower the hands down. All right, here's your plank. One elbow at a time, come on to forearm plank. So remember, this is all that matters, is right here, right now. Right, we're so used to like multitasking and being distracted by social media and Tinder, <laughs> Snapchat. <laughs> Right, but stay focused with me on right here, right now, and you will get so much more out of this. Lift your right arm up, side plank, and all you're gonna do is hold this side plank. Five, four, three, two, one. Come back to your full plank, don't lower the knees down. Hold with me, hold with me, be with me, dance with me, <laughs> sing with me, sing a song. <laughs> 
Okay, lower down, Sphinx Pose. Ah, shoulders over elbows, stretch. Reach your chest away from your belly. Reach your chest away from your belly. Oh, that feels good. Okay, lower down one more time for this back stretch, for this back stretch, for this back work. Press your pubic bone down. That's gonna be your anchor. If you don't know where your pubic bone is, your, your homework is to go Google it. <laughs> Pull your belly button in. <laughs> Lift everything up and hold. Or you can enlist someone to help you. <laughs> Press your pubic bone down. Pull your navel in. <laughs> Here we go. Down. Up. Oh. Gotta laugh. Six. Five. Four. Pubic bone down. Navel in. Two. Hold it up. Oh, so good. Lower down. Oh. Downward facing dog. Put those weights back up here. Up and back, down dog. Okay, Malasana. Step your feet as wide as your mat. Fix your leggings. <laughs> Get your knees out wide and pause here. Oh. So your tailbone's dropping, your knees are widening, and your collarbones are nice and broad. Stretch your hips. Okay. That was as long as you get to rest and stretch. <laughs> Crow pose. So you did this on your back already. Now it's time to take it to flight, okay? So, <clears throat> your weights can be out of your way right now. Plant your hands out in front of you from a squat. So your hands aren't here, they're way out in front of you. Knees out wide. I call this like the Vegas showgirl pose. <laughs> So knees onto the arms, okay? So if your knees are anywhere above your elbows, you're good to go. So once again, not here, hands are out here. Squeeze those inner thighs, work those inner thighs. Look forward, if you look down, you're probably gonna do a forward roll. So look forward, now pull your belly button in. Start to lean the weight into your hands. Pull your belly button in, lean the weight into your hands. Look forward on the ground, lean the weight into your hands. Look forward, your finger pads and your brakes. Your feet might just float up into the air. This is your crow. Breathe here. Your finger pads are your brakes and you're looking forward. Okay, now just stay for like 20 more minutes. 19 more minutes. <laughs> Child's pose rest. <laughs> Hips back, hands forward. <laughs> Maybe someday together we'll work up towards that. That could be like a whole video on its own. <laughs> Okay, you're gonna love me for this. Come into your plank. No weights needed for this one. Oh, big ab cardio burst here. Now, you're gonna hop your feet forward, lift your butt up like you're coming into crow. Same shape as crow. Now hop back. Here we go. Hop forward, hop back. Hop forward, hop back, hop forward. Now don't look down. Hop forward, hop back. Uh-huh. Now, aren't you glad we're not doing 20 minutes of this? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, whew, 3, 2, 1, and done. Child's pose. Now sit up and stretch those wrists. So press the backs of your palms into each other. So our wrists work really hard in vinyasa yoga. Elbows down towards the ground, and especially with all the planking we're doing today. Okay, let's finish it off laying down. So, hop it through, grab your weights. All right, tell yourself you got this. I believe in you. <laughs> I believe in you and me. <laughs> lift your legs up, lift your weights up. Crunch up. Now, lower your legs about a third of the way. Lower your legs about two thirds of the way. Mm -hmm. Now give me a chest press here. Down and up and down and up and down. If it's too much, just bring your weight, legs up higher. Don't let your lower back arch. You're not doing yourself any favors if your lower back is arching. Hold it up, now you know what to do. Knees in and out. Knees in and out. Add the triceps up down, up, down, 
four, three, two, and rest it down. Ooh. Let's just do a bridge pose for good measure to stretch the, stretch the front of our body. So arms by your side, no weights, chin off your chest, lift your hips up. That should feel really good. Okay, one more time. Same thing, ready or not. <laughs> Arms up, chest up, shoulders up. Here we go, legs up. A third of the way, two thirds of the way, it's up to you. Give me 10 chest press. Nine, eight. After this, and your curl pose abs, you're done. Unless, of course, you want to do one more video after this. <laughs> Two, hold it up. Knees to triceps. Here's your curl pose again. Bend your elbows, curl pose. Bend your elbows, curl pose. Remember, stay focused on what you're doing. So press your low belly down. Five. You only have four more. Three. Two. I sing to you. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Lift your butt, lift your shoulders, lift your chest. Oh. Hallelujah, come down. One more time, bridge, just to stretch those abs, knees over, ankles, hips up, chin off the chest. Draw your navel in, stretching the front. Excellent, lower your butt down. Rock yourself all the way up to a seat. Now, please do a few finishing poses. Head over to the one stretching yoga sequences, five or 10 minutes, and take a Shavasana. I'm watching you. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll see you next time, everybody. Namaste.